Hi, and welcome back to Pixie's Projects, or welcome in if you're new. Today, for our Tricks and Treats Day 7, I think, we're going to do a page in Matchstick Mouse, the autumn coloring book. And this is a buddy color I have with June Colors here on YouTube. I'll link her and anyone else I mention in the comments below, along with the supplies I use so you can find them. I have this picture of Matchstick Mouse as a bat with her little spider friend. And today we're gonna color with Posca pastels. These are wax pastels that are water resistant. Um, they come in a lovely case, which I'll take apart and show you. And they show you what colors there are on the front. Um, so yeah, it comes with like a little elastic bands that holds the cases together. And we have a beautiful lid. I've shown these before in a haul video, but I just wanna refresh anyone's memory who hasn't who've seen them or show it to whoever hasn't seen them. And there's the two trays of pastels. They're a nice heavy plastic. And I'm just gonna move those off to my side so I can utilize them. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just color this page using the Uniball Posca Pastel. I guess they're like a crayon. I don't have Neocolor ones, which are on my list and I'm hoping to get soon. And I wanna do a comparison video with these to see what these are like compared to those because I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our Matchstick Bat Autumn page. And yeah, let's do it. As always, even with using colored pencil, I suggest putting something under the page so that you do not have any bleed through um, or indents from pencil marks. And every time I look at the monitor, I think the picture's upside down. Um, because she's hanging upside down. Just rolling my chair in a little bit, so forgive me for the wig wiggles and the noise. And we're gonna go ahead and start on her trees, I think, that are down low, because there's not too much of that. Um, I'm coming in with a, a rather dark brown. I'm trying to stay out of your way so that you can see what's happening here but I am left-handed and unfortunately the way my outlets are set up in my old house because it's just old um, my outlets are all to my left and so my light is to my left because I can't get it around to the right and the camera setup is to my left as well which makes it a little more difficult to show you what's happening but I am learning to move my arm different. So hopefully we'll get better at it. So there we go. We've got a little bit of brown in there. Now I'm coming in with a, a regular green. If you have the Posca pastels, I used uh, 22, which is the brown. And then I have number six for my first green. And I have colored a few pages with these, but I admit that I don't color a whole lot with them. Um, at least not yet, because I haven't figured out how I feel. They're a little bit um, hard. And like I said, I don't have anything to compare them to. Because I don't have any... Like, I mean, if we're dealing with a Crayola, these are like no wax. They say they're wax, but um, you don't feel like that waxy feel at all. We're just throwing green over all the brown and coming up a little bit through certain areas. Um, but yeah, they don't feel waxy like a Crayola. I'm not really sure what they feel like. They're, they feel almost pencil-like, I think. Um, oh, I forgot a couple spots. I'm going back to the brown to go up under these little bits of the tree. And then I'm coming back in with the green again. Um, but yeah, they don't feel much like a crayon and that noise you're hearing is just me pushing rather hard to get a good bit of color out. All right, now we're moving on to number 72 in case you have them. And this is just like a lighter green and I'm adding that in there. 
I'm going to try to leave this in real time because I think I can finish this fairly quick. Um, and if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that my idea of fairly quick is not necessarily the same as others fairly quick. But I know sometimes it's nice to see a real time video. Um, also, I think these can be sharpened. I'm just refusing to do it because they're not a cheap supply. So I'd like to use it all. And because they're not water soluble, I can't make them into little paint pans. So I don't know what I would do with the shavings. So I feel like I'd be wasting a lot. Um, and that could change in the future. You know, right now I feel bad if I waste them. So we have some trees and these are not how they look finished. Um, at the end, I will go ahead and use um, a thinner so that you can see what they look like. Now we've got trees are green. I made them green. They're evergreen trees, so why not? This wood here could be just brown. And then we have a nail, which would be gray. So I'm going to go ahead and do the nail. I'm just trying to figure out what color I want to color our bat. Because I really like her. And I think she's going to be purple. Um, maybe get a little magical. Sorry, that gray was 37. And this is number 24, the black. And I'm just going to try to put a little bit on the bottom edge. And around the bottom of the screw head. But not too much. Alright, on to the wood. We're going to take... A couple of colors for the wood. We're going to use this darker brown around the edges. And I don't know why. I always think that's the place to go the darkest. Um, on these little circular pictures. But I do. And then up in the corner here. Right under the nail. And up along the top of here. And here we are again with my... You always put the dark color on the edges. <laughs> So I'm going to do it again, all through there, and then what? we'll add a little bit back here and underneath her. All right, that was the 22 again. Now we're going to use 21, and I'm just going to come in around that, and down here we're going to color the whole thing in, and up in here... Like there is not a light source at all in here. So I'm kind of making everything bright and assuming there's um, a full moon that doesn't exist in the picture. Because it's like here, but behind everything. Because um, I feel like I can do whatever I want. And I think you should feel like you should do whatever you want too. Because I don't think there's rules to coloring. I mean, sometimes there's ways to do it easier, but I don't think there's rules or should be rules. You should just have a good time. All right, so we've got that. And like I said, that was uh, 21. And then I picked up this yellowish brown, like a yellow ochre, and uh, number 78. And I am just going to add that liberally everywhere to give us a little more coverage and to shine through in spots where I want it to shine through. And once we start blending this together, um, you'll see that we'll have a little bit of different colors going on. There's that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and color our little spider friend, I think. If I color her purple, I, mean, I don't want to be too cliche, but I think I'm going to color him orange. So that we have purple and orange on the page for Halloween. Because we have plenty of black with the background. Definitely going to have to like give him some pupils, this little spider guy. And uh, maybe some glossy accents. <laughs> but there he is. He's orange. He's coming down on a string. So we're going to use um, this peach color, 54 just to color in our string so it looks like it has a little bit of rope color to it. Um, he's got that lovely little flower for matchstick bat. And I'm going to throw in 
some green right there and the color of the flower is going to be yellow why not There we go. And then we're gonna go on to mouse her or the mouse the bat herself. And I just want to check this pencil really quick. That is a blue. Okay. So I'm gonna start with my pink for the insides of her ears. Well, the inside of her ear, the other ear is turned the other way. And her little tiny nose. And then we're going to take this purple and put it in our dark spots. Yeah, it's very bluish, but I think between the purple and the blue, I'll be able to mix it all together and we'll be fine. And I'm going to put it down here on our little feet. And right up through here on both of these wing sections and through there. Okay, then I'm going to grab the purple. I'm sorry, that was number 10. This one's number 12. And I'm going to bring this through her wings. And we're going to find out if I failed or not. But I do think these are going to blend pretty well together I don't want to get it in her eyes all right so there is matchstick mouse all colored or matchstick bout bat all colored in I'll do her little toes with that lighter purple I don't know what color they should be but it's a coloring book so they're that Mm. And then we've got the next biggest part left is those clouds. And let's see. I think we're going to continue in with our pink. Um, if you watched my September finished pages video, I did a baby Yoda page for Grogu in 2022 that uh, Jojo Sahana post or hosts. And um, I did the clouds in the sky, pink and orange, and I thought it was crazy at the time, but the more I look at it, the more I think it's cute. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to take some gray and finish off the rest of the cloud real light, because I don't think I can blend these out pink to white. Um, I might be able to, but I don't, I don't rightly know. So we'll find out when we get there. And then I think I'm going to leave the stars and the dots go and come in with like a gel pen or something. I'm going to come in with the low odor thinner. I'm using Daler and Rowney. It's a uh, cheap brand at Walmart and it does have low odor. I still suggest opening a window or something if you're using it. So we're going to go ahead and start blending her out. I like to always start everything with the lightest colors first. That way, if I forget to uh, rinse off my brush, it doesn't matter so much. So, as you can see, every, I hope you can see. I'm going to try and zoom all this in, of course. But everything blends out really nice with a little bit of the mineral spirits. I guess we'll go orange next and take care of our little spider friend. And I didn't do a lot of shading on these tiny things. So if I feel like I should, I will come back in with a pencil. But a lot of the times with these books, because of the simplicity, simplicity and like the childlike nature of the drawings, I think they look really cute just as they are with like a almost flat coloring you know we added some shadows here and there so we're just going to keep blending out till it's all where i want it 
and I'm not too careful about this bit at all, um, especially with a black background, because whatever color I spread out, it's not going to, you know, be, it's just going to be on the black. Oh, I forgot her little rope. There we go. And then we'll go for her little nose, because we can. I just love coloring her nose pink, no matter what color I make her. And then we've got our clouds. So we'll get them all shaded in. And then we'll do the next one. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the Halloween content. Um, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and I don't think I could be the only one who thinks that. So, um, I've been making that content. I have a friend, and she knows who she is. I'm not going to mention her, but she does not like Halloween at all. Um, so, I feel bad for only posting Halloween content. So, I'm still doing my regular stuff as well. And a lot of my Halloween stuff isn't scary. I just like the idea of Halloween. So... I'm really hoping that everybody enjoys it. Um, last year I had done, last year was my first Halloween on YouTube. And I did a countdown, the 13 days to Halloween. And I really liked doing that. Um, we did a free page from Johanna Bassford. And I kind of spookified some things. And it was really fun. So if you go to my Color and Chats or Color With Me playlist on my channel, you can find those videos if you're interested in seeing even more Halloween. Uh, now we're going to do these trees, I think. And I like to start at the lighter parts and pull it into the darker parts. And blend that out a little bit. I'm not being too precious about it. I'm just going to town. Um, but yeah, once in a while, this is just fun to do them this way. And I said this was a buddy color with June colors. And you should go check her, them out definitely. Um, they just color really well. And I'm sure that they're going to take a lot of extra time on theirs. Or not extra time, but... A lot of care because all of their pictures are just they look super well put together so there'll be a whole different way to see how to color this page when they upload their video or they show their finished pages because I'm not sure if they're doing a video on this or not but yeah it feels like this is the first year we can have a tiny Halloween party um, so I'm really excited about that. Last couple of years we uh, just decided against it. It wasn't a great idea. So hopefully we'll be getting a little back to normal this year. And we're almost done this part of it. It just takes me a few minutes because I don't want to just slosh thinner everywhere. But it does even out the colors and spread them around. And gives me another quick medium to use when I'm feeling like I don't want to do a lot of work. And since a lot of the things I do are kind of convoluted, I thought... You all might enjoy seeing me do something more simple. And then I'm sure there's still people that are like, that's still too much work. Alcohol markers would do the job. And they would. And I've used them plenty in here. 
but I also wanted to share a medium you might not have tried or have seen used. So there's our trees, and now we've got the wood, and we've got matchstick bat. I'm turning the page again just to do the wood. I don't want to stick my hand in the center. Well, not all the way in the center. That's how I should have said it. Because I'm in it. Um, what was I going to say? I have a lot of buddy colors for this month. A lot of Halloween pages. So if you have a buddy color with me and it is a Halloween page, I'm probably going to make a video. Because I'm just trying to do these a couple days ahead on, I think, five days. I've got five days lined up in a row right now. So, the first one, the first day went live and then I got, I did that one in real time. The next day I did five videos. So, we're in the next day part now and then... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to finish making. I don't want to be making the videos up to the 31st. I'm hoping to get them done by the middle of the month. Um, I also have to get my coloring plans video out. Because I have books that I picked out that I want to do. Um, if I finish my buddy colors. Which, honestly, if I finish my buddy colors, that'll be amazing. I think I have... 30 this month, I think. So we'll have to see what my uh, completed pages video looks like in the beginning of November. I'm, I'm curious as to how much. I'm just trying to rub this in a little more. And I just use really old paint brushes for these kinds of things. And when they're, you know, finally dead, they're dead. Alright, so we've got the wood done, and I turned her around so we can try and spread out these colors on her body. Oh, let's see where do I want to start. We'll start at her little tiny feet. I don't know why they're so cute, but they are. So I'm just pushing some of the blue into the purple to get them to blend a little. Yeah, I like that color for her. We'll do her little ears. Alright, so light, light, light. In the comments below, let me know if you have any plans for the holiday and what they are. Do you guys decorate for Halloween? Um... David and I like to think we decorate for Halloween, but we just decorate and it happens that once a year we have the perfect decorations up because that's pretty much a standard for us. We like skulls and creepy things and so a lot of the times it looks like we've already decorated, even though that's just like a Tuesday in July, um, but we'll pull out all the the really big wild decorations this year and do the yard I hope and if we do have our Halloween party that means I get to get out all my Halloween serving ware and dishes and things and that's very exciting for me I haven't seen them in a couple of years all right again I'm just pulling this blue and trying to get it into her purple Yeah, you know, let me know if you go out for Halloween or if you stay home and, and let in trick-or-treaters. Like, how do you do the holiday? There she goes. Now she's moving. 
sometimes it seems like it needs a little more thinner just to get all the colors to move like it needs like a layer of it you know I just want to push that out and it gets really slick and then everybody or everything moves I thought about doing, um, if you were subscribed to my channel last Halloween and I did that 13 day countdown, one of the things I did, um, actually the first day that I did was a fish that I made look like, um, Halloween. And I'm thinking it was just a regular fish, like a Johanna Bashford fish. It was a cute one. Um. So I am thinking about recreating that, but like on a page with a fish on it instead of just as a little tiny drawing. And I don't want to say what it is because I want it to be a surprise. But if you did watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you did, then let me know in the comments if you want to see me attempt that on like a Hannah Carlson page or something. It's got some streakiness in this blue. I want to get that blended out and that is all we are going to do oh no we left the nail so say this is all we're doing as far as the Posca pastels and I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry after I finish the nail and I'll be back to do our finishing touches So there she is, just with Posca pastels. I think she looks pretty cute. So I'll see you in a moment. And I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the finishing touches on this page. I got a little bit of purple in her eyeball. So I'm just going to take my Signo Uniball white pen and color in her whole eye because if I only took care of the purple part she would just have a really bright white spot there we go I'm gonna give our little spider friend some highlights on his crazy eyes and then I'm gonna use a yellow Bic bright liner um, this is a Johanna thing so Johanna thank you she does I think pretty frequently use a highlighter for her cloud or her stars in the sky and it's just like super quick and I'm so thankful she showed that because I would never I mean I use highlighters all the time in my journaling I would never think to use it for my stars and it looks so cute so there's that and then I'm going to put glossy accents on our little spider friend's eyes if they come out there we go and I'm gonna do the same for our bat friend I just smooshed one of his little white pupils but it's fine so let me gloss up her eye I wonder how much of that I'm gonna smush out if I come out from the black part though I should be fine Just don't go back to the black part, which is where I have trouble. I don't want to get it too thick because I still have to color in here. And I'm up getting really close to finishing this book. Um, not in a rush, though. All right, so we've done that. And then I have this... Windsor & Newton watercolor medium iridescent um, Jody from J.I. Colorist was using this on her channel a while ago and I had to have it so of course I've got it now um, it's it's lovely and it doesn't leave like bumps like the uh, stickles do and things like that sorry for the page movement and I am just going to take this because it's it's 
Halloween looking to me. And we're going to make that cloud super magical. It's either that or um, where we live is like, um, it's called the mushroom capital of the world, which I don't know if that is true. or I know it's the mushroom capital of the United States. I don't know if it's necessarily true of the whole world. Uh, but that's what they say. And at night, because of what they use to grow the mushrooms at, at twilight, we get so such beautiful sunsets like we have like a lot of pink in them um and i mean i used to live a couple towns over about a half hour away and we never had anything like this so like half the time i'm like oh it's beautiful and the rest of the time i'm like are we are we getting toxic chemicals or not it's probably not a great story to tell people but it's it's in my head so there we are okay so this is matchstick mouse autumn coloring book and we've done the bat and the spider we used the posca pastels again i'll put a link for everything below um but yeah this was a lot of fun for me i hope you all enjoyed it and until next time my friends have a very colorful day bye